What is up, all my beautiful legends? I hope you guys are off to a great Thursday today. And we're going to get right into it with Chapter 2, and you're going to see right here on the left that's going to be the cover image with Geiger fighting these mutated ants. And then the first panel, we get a black little box, and it says, Some time has passed since we last met. The cancer is progressing faster than we can manage, Tariq. We're going to get more aggressive with the treatment, but I'm not sure what else we can do at this stage. Basically saying that it was the sickness that saved Tariq Geiger. That, and when the bombs went off and he got stuck outside, all the poison was bottled up, burning deep in his broken heart like a furnace. How long do I have left? And then it says forever. Basically explaining right off the rip, right here in issue number two, how he gets his powers, how he's able to survive, and how he's able to transform and everything. But others say it wasn't the radiation that kept Geiger's heart beating, it was his family. Did he ever get them out of that shelter? You'll hear about that soon enough. But first, and then we're going to skip to the next page where it says, we're going to get back to the glowing man. And he's basically standing there with this awesome shot of the moon silhouetting him and him and his two wolves. Now it opens up with these two, do or two people on a motorcycle and they're like, woohoo, I can't believe we got it. We turn this over to the king and we get all the chips we need. More than chips, baby. We get a tower. We get seats at the court. We'll be the Duke and Duchess of Camelot. And it says, hey. And you see just a quick flash of the glowing man. And she's like, you see that? And he's like, see what? I thought I saw a light. I see lights all right. Vegas, baby. And that's when it kind of shows the first thing of civilization. They come in. They're getting desanitized. It says cleansing complete. Please check in to report for admission. And remember, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I'm not sure if you guys ever played the old game uh, on Xbox or PlayStation, but uh, Fallout 76 New Vegas, this is what this kind of reminds me of. Going into Vegas, you know, get desanitized, having the bots there, having to check in for admission and all that. And it says, welcome to Camelot. And basically, they're just checking in. He's like, uh, where's Hazmat? At this hour, he'll be on the casino floor. And they're uh, taking their suits off, getting all nice and up. And it says, all hail the king. Let's go get rich. And it says, the king's men returned from Boulder City, terrified by their encounter with the glowing men. So the king led a courageous leader fought valiantly, saving his nuclear knights from the monster's burning clutches. Basically a huge painting decrypting this battle that never even happened of killing the glowing man. It said the king was banished, the radioactive horror from the land, vowing to pierce his dark heart if he ever returned. He says, here you go, Carolina. You tell Haz I made it extra sweet like he likes. And uh, <clears throat> basically we just see a little thing of the bartenders, and then she says she's grown up so fast talking about her daughter. Uh, she said, shave her head, make her ugly somehow. You do that, and maybe she'll get put in the kitchens. Basically, once they turn 16, uh, they, don't, they basically become like whores or servants or whatever. It said, I'd be more worried about your little boy come his. So now as we start off, we see uh, them say, we need to talk to Haz, Warhead. He's in the middle of a role right now, hard six. We don't like Tim, basically. He doesn't like to be bothered when he's... Uh, gambling or doing their role and it's kind of our first introduction of the nuclear knights and uh, basically getting the description of what's going on with them and he's like go get the text bring them down here to verify this isn't a fake like the others yes sir it's no fake you'll see and he says holy grail my ass hard eight hazmat does it again and then as the barmaid just kind of glaring at him it says junkyard joe to the rescue and i love those little snippets now it's going to just skip to this family and we haven't seen them before. We don't know much about them or anything, but it basically starts off with, if you don't put that toy away and help me clean up, they're going to come after you after the sun goes down. The night crawlers eat little boys who don't help their sisters do the chores. Stop it, Haley, or worse, the glowing man is going to come get you. And then her mom comes in and she says, uh, I thought you weren't done in the morning. She says, we're leaving. Leaving where? Outside. He's like, outside? We can't go outside. I was waiting for an opportunity. I didn't want to scare you. But this, I think this maybe can pull, uh, pay our way in. She's like, safety, Haley. Freedom. This is our chance to find it. And the kid's like, what's in the bag, Mom? And she says, it's a relic from before the Unknown War. It's called the Nuclear Football. The King's been after it for years. And he's like, what are you talking about? She's like, listen to me. We have to get to NORAD. It's 80 miles south of Denver in the Cheyenne Mountains. It's the only place where the American government still has control. And she basically shows them a map. She says, this is a car to the elevator, and these are keys to a vehicle and get to in the garage. She's like, we have to leave right now. 
and then boom, you see him kick in the door. She says, oh no. She's like, you get under there and you don't come out. She's like, but mom, he says, stay hidden. And she's like, has, what's going on? Where is it? Where's what? He's like, we got cameras and eyes on you. The bag. You talk when I tell you to, Warhead. Yes, sir. Her place isn't that big. We can look for it ourselves. So basically, we're seeing him bust in. She was a barmaid, and she basically stole that relic that those other guys brought in. And then the first panel, she says, Mom, as she gets skewered with the knife. So now they know there's people under there. And then when they go to look, she squirts him with some bleach or some water or something. Something that messes his eyes up. And she's like, run, Henry. And he's like, you kids, get back there. They hit that card on the elevator, get in there, and now they're crying. You know, their mom just died. And they're basically following her uh, instructions. Get to the hazmat. The hazmat resizes. They find a car. They hit the car things. It's like, beep, boop. He's like, I'm scared, me too. And then we just have one last little panel of them basically driving off in the security cameras. They're like, do you think they'll come after us? Haley, I don't know. How long is it going to take to get out there? I don't know. She's like, do we have enough food and water? And she screams at him, I don't know. Shut up, I'm trying to drive. And then the kid's sad, you know, his mom just died. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Henry. She's like, they k killed mom. He's sad, they're both upset. And then out of nowhere, their car crashes. They hit this giant ant that you see on the cover. That he says, hold on, as they go skiing into a pole. He's like, come on, the bag, forget the bag. She said, mom said we need it. As a big giant ant basically jumps up on the hood of the car. Now these action panels go a little faster. As you see, just no dialogue. The kid's getting attacked by the ants. But at the bottom, who comes to save him? But none other than Geiger's two-headed wolf. He's like, Haley, who is that? He's like, you shouldn't be outside. As uh, Again, that dope silhouette of that moon in the background, him just crushing the ants. He's like, get home before the big ones show up. And then you see this huge scorpion basically roll up, and then Geiger takes him out, throws his little stick at him, and basically skewers him. Now you got this nice one-page panel, and he's like, though, before you go... You have any good books on you? And you remember him saying back in the issue one how he's still in his bunker and he's just sick of reading all the old books. But I love how it just shows him kind of re leaking that radiation. Now it's back to the Camelot. It's like, how could you lose these children? We got a party after him right now. He's like, I want my holy grail. It's out there where he is. I can't face him alone. I can barely face anyone after what the glowing man did to me out there. And then basically his face... Bring me my mask, as you see the king just basically having his ma his whole face just from the glowing man grabbing him. He's like, an escort me to Manhattan. He's like, Miss Borden, where is she? As he's wearing a mask. And it says, welcome to the city, kid. My men say they have a proposition for you. And make it snappy. I got things to do. And that's where we're going to leave off into chapter three. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys are learning something from this series and enjoying it. Let me know down in the comments if you've read this, if you're following along, or if there's any adjustments or any uh, input or comments that you would like to see on this series as I'm still adjusting and still learning as I go. But I hope to see you tomorrow for my Friday Positivity dropping at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Always have that mental health awareness. I've been doing it for an over a year, and I'm always there for you guys. So again, thank you for your time. I hope you have a great weekend. Stay legendary, and as always, I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. Thank you.